All right, in this video, we're going to go over the reminders uh, updates on iOS 7. So go ahead and click reminders. And now it's just got a basic thing of your reminders on the right. You can tell it's just they've uh, gotten rid of the strictly bl black and red layout, and now they've kind of made it a little bit easier to read. So um, you click on schedule, or you can add a list. So it'll be a new list. You can pick which color you want it to be. So this will be Mac Helpers list. And we'll go ahead and make that purple. Um, you can see over here on the left, I don't have any purples. So I'll go ahead and hit down there. And so I can go here and just put make iOS 7 video about reminders. And then you go ahead click the, the little I button there, the information button, and it's got the text, remind me on a specific day. Uh, so you can click the little button there and there will be an alarm. Let's say I wanted to remind me today at 6 p.m. Um, and then you can repeat it every day. Um, and you can set up an end time. So end repeat date, let's say, is the 24th. So that would actually be next week. Uh, and then you can remind me at a location. So whether you arrive at a specific spot or you leave a certain spot, it will it will ask you or remind you right then and there. And then you can have your priority, whether it's really important or not. Um, and you can change what list it should be a part of. And then you can add notes about the about this actual thing. So use my iPad to film. Hit done. Then it's got the little note right directly under there. And so that's pretty much it. And let's say I completed that one. Then you can hit show completed. Or it's gonna keep it like that, but if you go back to Mac Helper's list. Actually, it's not going to show the completed because, oh yeah, it showed it completed. But since it's, it's recurring daily at 6 p.m., it's going to keep reminding me. So this is already reminding me for the 18th since I did it for tomorrow's. So if I click on this one again, and then hide completed, it's going to show for the 19th now. So three days in advance, if I hit show completed, it's bringing up those three last ones. Or you can sit here, click delete. Or you hit more, and it will allow you to edit that again. But I can just hit delete. Um, so that's pretty much it for, let's say that for Mac Helpers, you can hit edit, um, color, brown, whatever. So that's it for that one. Let's say I wanted to go to, um, let's say my Mac Helpers one. So these are just different things that I need to do for Mac Helpers. So you can create a ton of different lists. So I click edit. Let's say I wanted to, since those four are already blue, let's say I want to change that. Let's say I want to change Mac Helpers to purple. So then you can see it automatically updated over to the left there on for purple. So these are just different things I need to do. I can show completed and so as I finish the home page, uh, call SS. Um, so it's just basic things there. Um, you can click on different things here. Um, I've got my see how I've got it set up as my reminders here. Uh, and then you if you click edit, you can go on here and adjust where they are in terms of your list of importance. So reminders are just like my basic reminders. This is how I set up at least. Basic reminders are things I need to do. Mac Helpers list is just a list of two things to do for Mac Helpers. Quick Reading is a really cool program I've, I've purchased on speed reading. So one of the main goals I've been trying to do is practice 20 minutes a day. So that's pretty much it there. Um, there's uh, just different things that I have uh, that I like to do. Uh, so that's pretty much it for Mac Help, for the Reminders app. And as you can see, it's kind of transparent in the background, how you can almost see through it in terms of the background. Uh, down by the little uh, clock sign, see how you can see those things kind of moving? That's that dynamic background in the background. So that's what their app was talking about, how it seems very, just different layers. They're playing with layers to make different, give different effects to it. So that's pretty much it for Reminders. So if you have any questions, give us a call or don't give us a call because you don't have our phone number, but shoot us a line. We're really good at answering emails, info at yourmachelpers.com, or the easiest probably bet is to send us a message or post on our wall on Facebook, facebook.com slash machelpers. Thanks, and make sure to give us a call if you've got any questions. Thanks. Bye.